how am I going to live? How am I going to engage with life in whatever time I have left to make it rich, meaningful, productive, and enjoyable? I was not surprised when it came back, to the, the biopsy came back uh, positive for cancer. And what was very surprising, I would say shocking to me, was that the prostate cancer had spread beyond the prostate itself. Obviously a very serious situation. And um, I couldn't believe it. My first contact with Hope Cancer Resources was on my first trip to the oncologist. And that was very reassuring because it was, I had a lot of fears it was gonna be a very cold, very clinical place. That actually changed my whole feeling of the experience right off the bat, that there was someone there inviting me to ask for help if I needed any kind of help. About a month into the treatment process, I got a call from Sarah from Hope, and she asked me how I was doing. She invited me to talk with her then or to make an appointment and come in and talk with her. Um, you know, she was concerned about my well-being emotionally and uh, just wanted to basically let me know that she or someone there was there for me. And I began to see her on a regular basis and things began to get sorted out. And, and I began to, I say, get grounded and accept the new reality. You know, some days I'd, I'd wake up and I'd forget that I have cancer. And then, oh, God dang it, I do. And, but you know, eventually I, I began to, you know, accept it and come to terms with it and figure out how am I gonna go forward. I got a call from Sarah letting me know that Mickey was gonna be holding a art class, a collage group, and surrounding the heart are all the people who have come into my life to support me. We have medical people, of course, uh, Sarah and Mickey. Then there's some other people below the horizon who are in my life right at the very beginning. The whole top area is my family, my, my lovely sister and my parents. And, and basically, this is about the rising of love in my life. One of the really exciting things that happened to me during this life journey with cancer, we'll call it, was uh, to meet Grace. I actually met Grace on Facebook. Grace uh, had a business group for small business people and being in small business. I joined the group and what do you know, we really hit it off. And so we talked about the long term and, and one of the things that Grace had mentioned was an old, I think it's Celtic tradition where you don't really know someone until you've lived with them through all four seasons or a year and a day. So. July 10th of this year was a year and a day. And I proposed marriage to her. And she said yes. So we're getting married. And I've always wanted a dog. This seemed like the perfect time. What cooler thing would it be than to get a therapy dog? And we named her Bonnie Hope. Bonnie meaning beautiful and hope for Hope Cancer Resources or a beautiful hope and that is our hope for our puppy is that she will be able to comfort people who are feeling troubled or lonely or sick. I'm in a good place right now. My health is stable. I've got a great home life. I've got a lot of things to look forward to in my life. I feel like I've found that sweet spot as Sarah would say of being aware and caring for my cancer without becoming a full-time patient, a full-time worrier that more than anything else I don't want to be a cancer patient. I want to be me. And in 10 days, Grace and I are getting married. <laughs>